All right, so if you are ever in the situation where you have an unsightly beam in a room that you are going to transform into a festive atmosphere, then you can wrap it. It's also known as a Brazilian wrap. So I'm gonna show you how to execute this design. It looks complicated, but I'm telling you, it's super duper easy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with a 260 balloon and you're gonna take all of the air out of this so that it looks like a piece of fettuccine, okay? So you're just gonna squeeze it at the end and then depress all the air till you get to the nozzle. Don't let go. But you see how it turns it into a flattened, thick rubber band? Again, it looks like fettuccine to me. So then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna tie a knot. Do not let any air get back into that balloon. And then you're gonna wrap this around your beam. And you're going to have, depending upon how tall it is, it will determine how many you actually have. So in this case, I believe I'm gonna have anywhere between eight and 10. Okay, now that you have taken the air out of your 260, go ahead and tie it onto the beam. Now in this case, I only needed one 260, but if you have a larger beam, obviously you will tie two 260s together to make it longer. So here you'll see that I simply tied it, wrapped it around the pole, and it's pretty tight. You want it to be snug. There's some tension. Okay, now you are ready to place your balloons underneath that tied to 60. Here I've used an 11 inch balloon inflated to 7 inches. However, I decided on this design to do the top row a little bit larger. So it's up to you in your design what the size you inflate your balloons to you can do six inches you can actually use five inch balloons instead of 11 inch balloons but obviously the smaller the balloon the more balloons so i am going to go ahead and finish this whole ring and then once i've done that i will tie the second 260 onto the beam and then you will see, once I get that second ring done, I'll push up on that bottom ring to move it up to the ceiling so I don't need to get on a ladder. And my feet never leave the ground. Now that I have all of my duplets in place, I'm going ahead and repositioning them. I'm turning them sideways, I'm slanting it so that I can create a spiral design. And so you'll see the top row, those duplets are a little larger than my second row. And I will continue this pattern, this spiral all the way down the beam until I get to the very last row. You are tying your, in this case, we're using two colors. I've tied a duplet of two oranges together and I've tied a duplet of two yellows together. Okay, that's very important. And I'll explain to you when we get to the bottom why I am stressing that point. Okay, so we are getting to the very bottom. There is not enough room for me to put a duplet as I did with the top part of that beam. So what I'm doing is I'm turning it sideways and this time they are two different colors. So I don't have a yellow with a yellow and an orange with an orange. I have an orange with a yellow and as you'll see, because there's not much room on that bottom row, I have to simply turn it sideways and then that will continue with my spiral.
and 190 balloons later the spiral is done to cover the unsightly beam it is really as easy as one two three all right get to wrapping thanks for watching bye y'all